What's up, YouTube? Capital G here. I got a borough size beatdown for you guys to check out. We got the dinosaurs up at the top. If he's running terraforming, that probably lets you know that it is a Lost World version of dinos. Then we got Burning Abyss at the bottom. This is actually the Dante's Cat version. You see the little kitty right here. And um, that probably means that there is going to be a Light of Sekka at some point in this duel. No other spells and traps, probably for the most part. Shout outs to Thomas Love and your Burning Abyss deck. Definitely making waves and i think that this duel is definitely going to raise the question what is the best boro card in Yu-Gi-Oh? because i think for a long time it was just a foregone conclusion that it was borlo dragon because it's so strong it can cut monsters down by 500 it can snatch still them for a little while it's immune to monster targeting but man Boros War Dragon just does so much raw damage. That card allows you to attack twice and gain the attack, uh, well, partially of a monster that you attack into. Boros War Dragon is a huge battering ram, and I thought that Boros Low Dragon was that, but uh, no, nah, Boros War Dragon puts out way more damage. So let's see what Burning Abyss are up to. He did special summon um, Seer, which uh, I guess that was his only, was that his only play? He's going into Cherubini. The thing is, his Seer can't activate. Was that already a mistake i feel like that might have been a mistake maybe you special summon farfa and then normal summon the seer but i guess it's okay because he's getting graphs effect anyways get scarm on board then goes for farfa now he has the ability to drop Dante, and uh, he gets to search during the end phase. This is not a bad bur uh, board. He does go neg one, but he has Cherubini. He also has uh, Lady B to possibly drop like a, um, I don't know, Fairy Tale Snow in the Graveyard or something as a disruptive play. But Dinosaurs are going to fight back. Miscellaneous Saurus into Ovi Raptor. Lost World's going to put a token on board. There goes that Fairy Tale Snow. And that's going to drop, what is that, Giant Rex in the Grave? He does have Double Evolution Pill, and I believe he's going to send the token token to the graveyard to send baby sarah source or, or to destroy it okay so now he's getting a bunch of monsters on field he has four now i don't know about this man i think that like i really thought he was gonna drop doka on board and then doka could like run over cherubini doka could potentially stop the fairy tale snow but i guess doka would just be like i mean maybe beatrice would just attack over doka so maybe that was a problem yeah i, I thought that doka was the first option there but he does settle on ultimate conductor tyranno plus the copy of uh, Borlo. And actually, you know what? Maybe Doka would have been better because if he was going to summon Conductor Tyranno anyways, Doka would have been able to stop Fairy Tail Snow and it would have been able to stop Beatrice's effect. So yeah, as good as Borlo looks right here, I think that Doka actually would have been better because now Ultimate Conductor Tyranno is going to be put face down. And even though, you know, Fairy Tail Snow is still going to get attacked over, I think it just would have been better to, to negate it and get rid of all your opponent's threats. Light of Sekka trying to fix his hand right there. He's going to go Tour Guide into Phoenix Toronto Warrior, go for Nightmare Phoenix, get rid of that pesky lost world. Then he's going to send Barbar to the grave, do a little bit of burn damage, just 300. Glow up ball from the graveyard, and then we got the showdown Boral Sword versus Boral Load, the clash of the Boral monsters. I still think Boral Load looks way better. Boral Load's going to try to cut down a uh, Boral Sword Dragon, but yo, it don't even matter. <laughs> he's going to gain that 2500 attack, and then on top of that, actually, did he gain 25? No, 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 I'm sorry, he did 2500 damage, and then on top of that, he's going to summon fairy tale snow that's going to attack and this is why this card is just ridiculous fairy tale snow is going to be put in defense mode and then he gets to attack again so this card really just pumps out so much damage a lot of times if you have boar sword and like one other big monster you can actually otk your opponent just off those two monsters so this card is damage and a half and i really feel like uh just about every deck that can summon boar sword dragon should be playing it borlo put up a good fight but i actually think that you know now that i think about it him still being a able to use the ultimate conductor tyranno i think that i would have settled on doka i would have negated fairy tale snow i don't believe he could have possibly summoned it again but i feel like he would have used his entire hand plus his beatrice on field and at that point what would have been the point i think that um him summoning doka instead of borlo dragon would have allowed him to get his conductor through he would have been able to negate snow negate uh dante or excuse me uh beatrice at that point and i think it would have been fairly okay at that because then he could have just popped this doka to put whatever the tour guide play was he could put the monster face down because keep in mind that conductor Toronto doesn't target or anything so he would have been able to put the boris war dragon face down and i think he would have been okay but i don't know maybe it's a hypothetical and maybe i'm wrong about the play anyways hopefully you guys enjoyed this short little duel if you did give the video a thumbs up thank you guys for watching as always subscribe if you have not already and turn on that notification bell for daily videos